just got done watching this video here put up by uh, Olivia Alexa. The title of the video is Why Women Don't Like Good Men. They tried to cancel me for this. I guess she caught some flack for putting up this video. Anyway, I'm going to play the whole video. It's pretty good. And this is why we tell you, begin with Elder Pasta on down, we tell you GMS brothers and our true affiliates, you should concentrate, now let's tell you GMS men, you should concentrate building up yourself first in this knowledge, this truth, before you even think about getting with today's women. Especially, well, you shouldn't be thinking about getting with the so-called black woman anyway, period. Okay? <laughs> You would do well to stay away from her. But women in general, especially today's women that are fueled by social media, you brother, you should think about building up yourself first in this knowledge, this truth, mastering, as it is written, strive for the masteries, mastering this knowledge, this truth, mastering these scriptures, mastering yourself, like the Apostle Paul said, I keep under my body, at least I myself should be a castaway, mastering yourself within this ministry, making sure you do all that is required of you, of Yahweh Barshim Yashai, for this ministry, before you even think about getting with today's woman, as in getting in a so-called relationship. You already have a relationship, and that's with Yahweh Barshim Yashai through these scriptures, talking to you brothers out there. Okay, that's the smartest thing you can do, especially now, seeing that we're so close to the end. Now, by the time you're done here in this video, you'll see why that makes sense. Because you can forget about today's women. They're gone. And uh, honestly, we can't save them. And a lot of them are going to perish. And here's a message for you, brother. When you've built up yourself, the women will have no choice but to come your way. Not their way. Right now, if you want to get with them, you got to play by their rules. No. When you build up yourself and you, you in this knowledge, this truth, and this society crumbles as you're building up yourself, they're going to come around to your way. Your way of thinking, which is the way of Yahweh Barshim Yahushua, and they'll have no other choice but to bow to your will. I'm talking about these women, okay, and that's what you want. You'll be in the position of power. You get it? You'll be in the position of power because you made this knowledge, this truth, your habitation. As a matter of fact, let's get a scripture. One scripture comes to mind. Let's go to the book of Psalms 90. And again, you have to be you have to be able to have that vision in your head. I told you brothers a long time ago, man, the time is coming when you'll have to beat off these women with a stick. So many of them will come your way, begging for them to get with you. And that's pursuant to Isaiah the fourth chapter, the first verse. You don't think it's gonna happen? You watch and see. Uh Psalms ninety no, I'm sorry, Psalms ninety one. Psalms ninety one. Now look at the subhead in here. Security of the one who trusts in the Lord. You see that? Security of the one who trusts in the Lord. His name is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai. Right? He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. Why is it a secret? Because not everyone knows this knowledge is truth. It's only revealed to the, to the elect. And to the rest, it's a secret. They may know part of it, but they don't know the whole, the whole hundred percent of it like we do. Okay? Because it's been hidden to them as a secret. Okay, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Heavenly Father shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So that evokes what? Protection. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. The Lord, there is all in caps, begins with the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, then his son's name, Yahweh Shai. It says, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power in him will I trust, especially when this society is on its very last leg, when it's crumbled when everybody's losing their mind, when, when everything is going ape shit, who are we going to trust in to protect us in those days? Yahweh Barshim Yahweh Shai. And the women, they're going to see that. And they're going to want to get with you so that they could be protected. Okay? Because if there's one thing women know how to do is survive, man. <laughs> they, 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 know, they know what to do to be safe. Okay? They'll put down all their foolish pride. They'll put down all their ridiculous... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? They're ridiculous. Uh, uh, damn, 
The word escapes me right now. Expectations, for lack of a better word. They're, they're ridiculous expectations in a man. they high standards. They'll put all that shit down, which is totally not re rooted in reality. They're uh, expectations and high standard. They'll put all that shit away just to be safe. That, my brother, is a woman, all right? That's what they'll do. And you will see it, man. You will see it. It says, Psalm 91 and 2, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. Who's the fowler? Esau. And he's setting up that snare right now. He's setting up that trap. What is the trap? That RFID chip. He's going to make that thing mandatory. If you don't take it, you're subject to be put in a guillotine or whatever. You know, tortured to death, detention centers, concentration camps, you name it. The fowler is setting up the trap. But as it is written, the, Lord, the scripture said, the Lord will deliver us from the snare of the fowler. Because remember, nothing can happen, whether it be righteous or wicked, unless the Heavenly Father sanctions it. And the Heavenly Father controls the so-called white man, Esau. All right. What we call, what uh, most people call the New World Order of the top banking families, we call it left-hand energy of the Heavenly Father because they're controlled by the Heavenly Father on the left-hand side. We know this. We know the scriptures. We know the Heavenly Father controls both sides. So we don't fear. We don't worry. Why should we? We know the whole... It's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> we know the whole deal, man. And we know through, uh, as it is written, 1 John 2 and 20, you know all things. We know the whole deal through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, which, is, which Yahweh Shai sups with us, as it is written in Revelation, the third chapter. He sups with us. He tells us, man, through the spirit. He shows us things, and we see it. Okay? So it says, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, and from the noisome pestilence, that's your, your, your pandemics, your scamdemics that's going to be out here. Rampant, man. And, and many people will fall to, the, fall to the destruction of it. But we that have this knowledge of truth, we're going to soldier right through it. Just like we did, case in point, just like we did when they had the COVID scamdemic. We soldiered right through that nonsense. Now everybody and their mama is finding out that that was a, indeed a scamdemic. Isn't that something? But very few people felt that way when it was happening in 2020. You see? Let's keep reading, man. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. There you go. That's all a metaphor for protection. Just by being in this truth. It's going to say that as we keep reading. His truth, listen good, his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. You see, his truth, okay, that's what's going to protect, protect us in that day, man, his truth. Not a goddamn gun, not a goddamn uh, 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 weapon, okay, his truth, which is a weapon. This knowledge, this truth is a weapon. Weapons of our warfare, not carnal, but mighty through the pulling down of strongholds. Have we not read that scripture? Let's move on. It says, thou shall not be afraid <clears throat> thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day. That's your nuclear missiles. All right, on that day when it happens, we're not even going to be afraid of that. Even though the scriptures say the rem remnant were affrighted, but we're going to give, uh, the, what's going to compass our fear is the glory that we're going to give to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Even at the same time, we may be afraid, but we're still going to give glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay. Reading on, it says, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand. Or the season, season of death is coming, man. Better believe it. But it shall not come nigh thee. Why? Let's keep reading. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Here's why. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. And it starts now, brother. It starts now by you taking this knowledge seriously, by you mastering these scriptures, by you devouring the understanding of these scriptures, the understanding of these prophecies, by you devouring them and, and, and building a strong fortress within your mind, within this truth. All right? And then you think the women ain't going to see it? They're going to see it in you. They're going to see the strength in you. And they're going to envy you. And they're going to want to get with you. 
when all hell is breaking loose. You see? That's why I tell you the time is coming when you'll have to beat them off with a stick. So many of them are going to come your way. Okay? Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. <laughs> Look at that. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. All right. So, you know, let's go to the video. Uh, like I said, it's pretty good. You know, she pretty much nails it. Why these today's women are so, so dysfunctional. And it's not our job to be their psychiatrist, man. Just because we, they're giving up a little punani. Something that they've given to every Tom, Dick, Harry, and Harriet. You can forget about that, man. Okay, it's not our job. A lot of you so-called black men, you think that's your job to, to be the psychiatrist, to fix every, every uh, uh, emotional whim of these women. You think it's your job to do that. No, it's not. You, have a, you don't have a ruling class mentality. You have a slave class mentality. Okay, a lot of these women are too far gone. They're damaged goods, and there's no saving them, man. What you need to do is focus on yourself. Build up yourself, brother. That's what you need to do. Get your priorities in order first. Clean out your backyard first. And then maybe, maybe, if possible, you'll be able to clean someone else's backyard. Okay, and you know what I mean by backyard. I'm using it, using it as a metaphor. So without further ado, let's jump into this. Hi guys. The majority of women out here were never taught what a good man looks like. They were never shown the true blueprint and inner workings of a good man. A lot of women didn't grow up with strong... Sorry for stopping it. Said good man is a man that is in this knowledge, this truth, this understanding. That's the best man. That's the high class man. That's the high value man. And even how I I said it. All right. Every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of Yahweh Bashim Shai is what makes the man. Okay? So let's move on. Positive role models. So it makes it damn near impossible for them to actually be able to identify one. A lot of this has to do with the female liberation movements that sold them lies. The feminist movement got their mothers, and the Me Too movement got them. They you hear that, sister? The feminist movement, the easy sex movement, the sexual liberation movement have sold you a lie. They have destroyed you. You think you're getting valuable by letting every man come inside of you, literally? You think that makes you more valuable or does that makes you, uh, uh, cheapens you, devalues you? It's something that you women should consider. <clears throat> it cheapens you, it devalues you. Okay? Let's move on. And that's what was sold to you by Esau. You know, you go back to the picture of... Uh, Gloria Steinem, right along with that so-called black woman, they both got their fist in the air, Dorothy Pittman Hughes. That was that feminist liberation movement, the burning of the bras and all of that madness. You know, the easy sex, easy, easy liberation movement, free love and all that garbage. What did it do? It destroyed the family structure. It brought in diseases, okay? It destroyed the family structure, man. It destroyed the rapport between man and woman to the point where men and women don't even like each other. I remember a time when a man actually liked a woman. A woman actually liked a man when I was much younger. Those days are fast departing, man. Okay? It's only going to get worse. And because iniquity, to quote a scripture, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall what? Wax cold. There you go. And that's the natural love between a man and a woman, which is a natural thing. It's becoming an unnatural thing. That was shown in the movie 1984, which was made in 1984. Okay? <laughs> anyway, let's just move on. They have little to no personal examples of good men. So they seek out society and social media to teach them what a good man looks like and what a good man actually is. And what does social media do and society? They glorify the exact opposite of a good man. And these women fall for the trap because that's all they have to go off of. They get fed images of violence, arrogance, and womanizers as the ideal of manliness. 
they're shown men who are valued for their wealth and physical strength rather than their integrity and masculinity. So when you come along, leading by example of what a good man actually is and what it really entails is foreign to them. And they go into fight or flight mode. The bad thing about going into fight or flight mode is that most people choose to flee instead of fight because it's easier to run away and avoid unfamiliar and uncomfortable situations instead of confronting them head on. And women are known for that. Account There's a saying, accountability to woman is like kryptonite to Superman. All right. So there you go. By simply existing and being yourself as a good man, you're introducing her to a world that's so far removed from her reality and every single thing that she's been conditioned to believe. Her initial response is confusion. And then her second response is to reject it. And the reason being is because she has so many choices because of social media. Now, what happens when social media is destroyed? What happens when this society is, is, is toppled? Total chaos is out in the streets. All her, all her choices is going to be out the window. She'll have no choice, but the only choice she'll have is to get with a strong man, a man that is being protected from all the madness that's going to be happening. And I just read to you in Psalms, the 91st chapter, you're going to be that man, brother. You're going to be that man. You're going to be that man because you have made this knowledge of truth your habitation. That's all you think about. That's all you concentrate on. You have made, you have taken out the time to build up yourself, to build up that tower. That's you. To build up that tower through this knowledge, this truth that you've been that has been given to you through faith, through the gift of Yahweh Shai, you have made it made it made up your mind to be involved in this knowledge, this truth. And because of that, you will be amply rewarded. One of the things you'll be rewarded with is the pick of your litter. What woman you really want to get with. Because they're gonna come your way. They're gonna beg, literally beg to be with you. Because they're gonna see the strength and power in you. And if there's one thing women swoon, swoon after is power. Power. Okay? Let's move on. A common defense <clears throat> mechanism that these women will use is self-sabotage by creating self-fulfilling prophecies because they believe they're not worthy of a good man. Only reason they do that is because they have so many choices. You can't, brother, you can't compete with social media. The average woman, two, three, go on, they put a social media page, they got an army of simps Ready to ready to stroke their their incessant ego. Okay, have you not seen that? <laughs> you get a woman two or three, barely attractive, barely. All right, <laughs> and she'll get all kind of hits from an army of simps telling her how good she looked, especially if she reveals some skin. And you know what I mean by revealing some skin. So you can't compete with that, brother. So the only thing we can do, the smartest thing we can do is regroup, build up ourselves in this knowledge, this truth. They're going to come, they're going to come, and they will come, okay? Build up ourselves in this knowledge, this truth, and then things will turn around. They will turn around, definitely. Now they're going to come your way. They're going to come at your standards, okay? <laughs> and you'll be in the driver's seat. See, the thing is, most women want a good man. Most women want to be treated right. Nobody goes through life saying, yeah, I want to be treated like shit today. But if that's what you're used to and what you're familiar with, then you start to equate it to love. I've literally had women come to me and say that a man doesn't love them if he doesn't hit them because they equate physical violence to love. They equate jealousy to love. The truth is a lot of these women are damaged goods. DG damage goods okay and they're not fit to be in a relationship with all right you got more red flags than a chinese parade okay it is what it is so let's move on they equate control to love because this is all they've known at the end of the day, these are all the same, though. They're trauma responses. And depending on who you are and what type of person you are, you might feel the urge to step in and save her or prove how much of a good man you are to her in an effort to show her how things could be with you. 
However, remember this, you are not obligated to be anyone's educator, especially when you've got your own battles to fight, your own growth, personal growth to focus on, your own path that you're walking. Exactly, which is this knowledge, this truth. Okay? So the smartest thing we can do is to focus on that and build ourselves totally. Build ourself, build ourselves for, for you know against the storm that is coming. Like the scripture says, the, you build your house upon rock, and the winds came and the, and the and the rains came and beat upon that house. The winds blew upon that house, and the house could not be shaken because it was founded upon rock. That's the that's the point in time that we're at right now, brothers. We're building our house upon that rock. The rock is Yahweh Shai. So when the terror storm comes, we'll be able to weather the storm. Now, what about the woman now? Well, what about her? <laughs> what about her? <laughs> if she can't find her way to you and come the way you want her, then what about her? She's a, she's a casualty of the coming situation. That's all. Okay? <laughs> hey, that's the kind of mentality you got to develop, man. Hey, brother, you better develop some tough skin. Because it's going to get tough out here. And you know the saying, when, when the going gets tough, who gets going? The tough get going. There you go. Let's move on. Staying true to who you are unapologetically, focusing on your future, bettering yourself, and leveling up in life, these are your task at hand. The Be greatest leveling up is to know the knowledge of Yahweh Barashim Yahushai. There is no greater. And that's what we're striving for. Strive for the masteries. Because while the right woman can definitely accelerate your path because she's an asset to your life, the wrong one will derail you and slow you down because she's a liability to your life. And the thing is, the reality is there's more liabilities than there are assets. <laughs> there are more liabilities than there are assets. And I'm talking about the woman, okay? All right? So, hey, you got to know what time period you're in. As the scriptures say, it says, knowing the time that now is high time to awake out of sleep. Okay, let's move on. It's not your job to patch the cracks from a woman's inadequate childhood or flawed upbringing. Remember that. It's not your job to try and undo the warped stories that she's digested and accepted as universal truths. <laughs> You're not expected to instantly transform a woman's perspective on life. That's not your job. That's hers. That's her job. Now, what's going to make her job real is easy to accept reality is when all hell breaks loose. She's going to have no choice if she wants to survive. She's going to have to accept reality and change her ways if she's the one that's been chosen to be with you, brother. All right? <laughs> that's where you're going to dictate, <laughs> literally, right? You're going to di dictate. You're going to tell her what to do. You're going to tell her how, when to jump and how high. You understand? And watch. You will see things turn around, man. You will see it turn around dramatically. And don't tell me one day can't change a lot. Because 9-11, I remember 9-11. 9-10 was just your ordinary normal day. Come 9-11, everything changed. The whole world changed on 9-11 in just one day. All right? So don't tell me one day can't change a lot. 24 hours. Reminds me of the song, What a Difference a Day Makes. So you will see these women change around over fucking night. Okay? Guaranteed. Even a pretty woman like that. Okay? They're all going to change, man. They're going to have to. That's going to be their reality. Let's move on. Because let me remind you, the average life expectancy of men worldwide is 72. And that's on the long end of the spectrum. Do you know how short 72 years is? Meaning you don't have the luxury of wasting time trying to re-raise someone. If she does not come to you, at least willing to admit her flaws and more importantly, willing to actually work on herself, you're wasting your time. Solid goal advice, man. Solid goal advice. And this is coming from a woman. And I see why they gave a such a hard because the, the top wicked elite they don't want this kind of information to come to uh, come out here and to empower the men no this society is not about, about empowering the man it's about empowering a woman because the wicked elite know that empowering a woman brings what chaos 
The men got to be empowered first. The man is the head of the family, not the woman. But we know what this society wants. We know they want chaos. Chaos equals what? Order. Auto ab chaos. You see? So let's move on. And the, we don't have time to explain to the woman what, what is going on behind the scenes. We don't have time. Neither do we have the patience. Neither do we have the energy. She'll see it for herself when all hell breaks loose. Then she's going to have to make a quick, and I do mean quick, adjustment. Okay? <laughs> she's going to have no choice. <laughs> Because in order for you to make it work with a woman like this, she has to be willing to put in the work on herself and willing to trash certain parts of her beliefs and behavior that have been constructed through years and years and years of societal conditioning and social media bombardment. Mm. Your ultimate goal is to keep being you unapologetically and authentically, to continue evolving and growing and pursuing your ambitions. Be Which our ambitions are what? This knowledge is truth. That's our ambition, our main ambition. This is why we were even put on the planet Earth. Because in doing so, you'll raise the bar along with your standards and expectations. Remember that staying true to who you are doesn't mean that you have to fit into someone else's definition of what they feel like a good man is. It means living life according to your principles, regardless of whether they align with societal norms or not. And if your authenticity makes other people uncomfortable, remember that it's not your responsibility to adjust your identity to fit their comfort zone either. Continue to be the self-defined good man that you are and let the world adjust. They'll be okay. Trust me. So until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye. There you go. So that's it. That's the message. And what is a good man? A man that's rooted in the knowledge and wisdom of Yahweh Bar Shem we worship you. How about Shemiah Shai? That's the good man. Well, the women don't see it that way. Well, that's okay. Let them not see it that way. When all hell breaks loose, when this society is about to totally crumble, trust me, they will see it that way. They will have no choice. So with that, hopefully you were edified by this video. If you was, drop a line in the comment section. I'll see you in the next one.